Hi ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Goldsrap with another video blog and today's topic is what is a default judgment? Okay, today uh, in General Sessions Court in Tennessee and in circuit courts and in mostly in civil matters, maybe in a divorce court, you'll hear a lot about default judgments. What does that mean? Well, that means the other side never showed up to play. When I was a little boy, I played Little League. Now, I know you look at my incredibly athletic build and think, of course you played Little League. Well, no. I, I played outfield guy who, who picks weeds and throws rocks and doesn't pay attention, So, which is why I was in the outfield all the time. Uh, but anyway, I did my part in Little League. You know, you have a game sometimes in Little League, and everybody shows up on your side, and for some reason, the other side doesn't show up. Maybe they show up with a few less players and they can't have, form a team. And so they lose. They lose because you're just so much better. No, they lose because they just forfeited the game. You'll hear that sometimes. Well, they forfeited. Default is kind of the legal equivalent of that. When you're given a lawsuit, when you're served with process, you have a period of time to file an answer. We'll talk later about what an answer is. But you have a period of time to file an answer. If you don't file an answer, if you don't respond, then you don't show up. And you lose just because you didn't show up. That's what a default is. Weird language, defaults, motions, petitions, you know, things that sound strange. That's why you need a lawyer. Hey, I hope I've helped you out. If I can help you out, let me know. Thanks a lot.